you're waiting for the 2023 foreclosure crisis to hit, listen to this first. Let's bust up and give some context to some of these recent headlines that we've been seeing. Foreclosure filing surged 115% over 2022. U.S. foreclosures doubles. Now for some context. This red chart, courtesy of Adam Research, tells a very different story. It shows foreclosure history, going back all the way to 2005. In 2019, pre-pandemic foreclosures leveled out around the 493,000 mark. If you look at 2020 and 2021 where it dips, that's because of the significant government interventions for forbearance programs that were in place. So not good to compare what happened in 2022 to those two years because they were not normal. The fact is 2022 foreclosures are down 90% over that ugly peak in 2010 and they're down 34% from what we saw just before the pandemic in 2019. This quote by Rick Sharga from Adam Research is a good one. And he says that just 18 months after the end of the forbearance program, 95% of the 8.4 Americans that went into that program have resumed making regular mortgage payments with only 5% of them remaining in forbearance. Another headline we need to unpack is this one that says that US home sales are down for the 11th straight month in a row in December. While that is true, If we look at the statistics, there is still 11,000 homes that sell in this country every single day. That's eight homes every minute. And for those of you watching the stock market, have you noticed what's happening with Zillow stock just in the last three weeks since the holidays? Look at the increase. This is definitely a signal that the larger markets have priced in renewed optimism for the US housing market. If you're wondering whether you should sell or buy a home this year, book a free strategy consult with me and we can look at your goals together and see how we can assist.